Okay, we're going to talk about benchmarking. If you have a set of plans and you don't want to check your grades, let's say you got a manhole or a stake and you've got a grade written on it, a set of plans has a mark, a benchmark somewhere, and you've got other grades you want to find out, normally you got to get a calculator out and add it or figure out the difference or get a story slide run. You don't need to with this in our system. Very simple. If you've got a benchmark, you know what it is. You just hit the bottom left key here and it makes the zeros flash to green. And you input, it must be a negative because we're working above the earth. And the negative number will be, let's say your plans say, uh, oh, 13.35, okay? And you just hit enter. Now, whenever you touch that point, that 13.35, you see it doesn't say that right now because it's telling you what this grade is or whatever it is, it's, it's in space right now. You come out to that bench, touch any way you want, set your bucket on it, and just zero it on there. There's your 13.35, 13.34, so it's off hundreds of foot, doesn't really, doesn't really count there. So, if my plans say that this grade here is at 12.83, it'll be at 12.83 when I touch it, or I can... I can show my guys, hey, you got to go down this far, or I can check something, or I can, I can use it for many different references. Same with right here. This grade right here is 13.08. That's what it'll say on your plans. That's what it's supposed to be. So you can touch curbs, pipes, inverts, anything you want to find your grade. Nice thing is, remember, it doesn't matter which way the bucket's angling. You're still going to have the same grade because it always knows the end of the teeth. That's how you benchmark with a set of plans.